Hi, I'm Anne, and this is How We Van. And today I'm going to talk about the emergency survival items that we bring with us on our day hikes. So I have the top eight items that I bring. So we have a 19 foot camper van and we travel all over the place with it and we love to go on hikes. Um, one of the things that I'm kind of known for is my emergency preparedness. I have emergency preparedness in all of our vehicles in addition to in the, in the home in case there's a, a major earthquake or a major kind of natural disaster. So here are some of the key items I bring with us when we go on a simple day hike. But sometimes even the simplest of day hikes can turn into um, a bit more. It can turn into an overnight. It can turn into um, several days. And that's what I like to be prepared for. So here we go. So I bring this bag full of goodies. I have this bag full of goodies here. So I will take each of you know, everything out of here. I'll discuss this and I'll discuss these items with you. Our first item that I have is communication. So some of these are, I'm going to group things together because I like to build in redundancies um, for an emergency kit. So in case something fails, I do have a backup. So first thing for communication is everybody's trusted communication device, your, your mobile phone. Um, a lot of people sometimes tell me that they're going to go off the grid, they're going to go hiking on the run, they're going to leave their electronics at home, and I'm like, no, turn it off, put it in your backpack, that's totally fine, but make sure you keep your cell phone with you. Sometimes you could be in an area where there is no cell service, you don't have any bars, so that is why um, my husband upgraded his phone to an Apple iPhone 14. And this one has the emergency SOS via satellite. And this will get us emergency help should we need it. So that's probably the most important thing that you can have is a way to communicate and get emergency help ASAP. Now, in case your, your phone should fail, there's other communication devices that you could have with you as well. One is a, twist, a trusty whistle. You can never go wrong with a, a whistle. It cuts through a lot of noise and gets a lot of people's attention. Um, last but certainly not least is something reflective. In this case, it is the um, a mirror, and it does come with directions um, of how to, to use it. So you can use a signaling mirror. Now, everything that I'm gonna show you today is linked below in the description. Also, we are not sponsored. So all of these products that I'm talking about today, as well as any of our other videos, um, we have purchased and we use in our own rig. So all of these are, um, we've purchased and, we've, and we're using. Our number two item is the flashlight. I don't like to be in the dark, so I always have a flashlight. I will always have a flashlight on my person, whether it's in my purse, in the rig, or in my day pack, so a flashlight. I know some of you are thinking that your phone typically has a flashlight, and that is true, but the if you use a flashlight on your phone in an emergency, you're gonna deplete that battery, and we don't wanna do that. Always have an extra flashlight with you. Item number three is something for water. And I know everyone, when you're hiking, you're gonna bring your own water with you. Um, but in addition to that, should something happen and you're out there a lot longer than you anticipated, you can only survive a maximum of three days without water. You can survive weeks without food, but without water, a maximum of three days. So I always make sure I carry with me a life straw. This helps filter out um, particles and nasty things in groundwater. Also, sometimes I carry with me um, some water purification tablets. Um, those are also handy as long as you have somewhere to, to contain the water and then you can drop those tablets in as well. For item number four, we have fire. Um, we wanna make sure that we're able to make fire. Fire is used for so many different things. It's used for boiling water, for cooking food. It's used for warmth. It's used for comfort, it's used for light, and it can be used to deter animals. So fire is very, very important. So I always make sure I carry matches with me. Always you can find matches in my purse. Um, these for day hikes are, um, I carry waterproof matches in a waterproof container. Now this container also happens to have a whistle that I showed you earlier, as well as a compass and a little bit of rope. So um, waterproof matches. Now, should I lose the matches? Should I run out of matches? Whatever the case is, I always also make sure that in my day pack and in my emergency survival kits, I also have another way of making fire. And this, I have my, um, my rod, I have my striker, I have some Kindle cotton balls in here. And then I also have a bellow to help um, with the oxygen. So fire, very important. Item number five. 
this is our first aid kit slash medicine. So I make sure that when we are on a day hike, that I make sure I, I, you know, I take care of things, incidentals that might, that might come up. So I, in my medicines, I have your, your basics. I have some Tylenol and Advil, some cortisone cream, um, Pepto-Bismol, Benadryl, um, things like that, Imodium AD. Um, also, if you have any kind of prescriptions, you should probably have a couple days worth of, of those as well. So that's my medicines. In my general area for first aid, I have some pads, I have a, um, a bandage, something for calluses, obviously I have, I have band-aids and neosporin, and then I also have a tourniquet in case situation um, should arise. Um, so that is the general bandages. I also have a hand sanitizer. It's important to keep your hands clean when you're treating yourself or when you're treating others, as well as just in general keeping your hands clean um, if you're eating and drinking, because um, you never know what you're gonna touch. I just have some gloves for your safety and then um, some Kleenex. So a general, just a general first aid kit. Item number six, the Mylar blanket. This is a thin, lightweight way for um, to add some comfort and um, and warmth um, when you're out in a survival kind of situation. The Mylar blanket, you can wrap it around yourself and keep in your body heat. It repels water, it protects you from wind. You can also use it as a shelter. You can hang it above over your head. You can put it down on the ground um, so you can sit on it. Um, also, it's reflective. So you can also use it for signaling should you need to do that. Love a good Mylar blanket. It doesn't weigh a whole lot and it slips in. And I always make sure I have one for every person in my party. In addition to the Mylar blanket, I usually pair it with a cheap little poncho. And that's just so in case I'm doing something and I can't wrap myself with a blanket, I can at least put a poncho on and keep myself and keep myself dry. Both, very, very thin. I pair them together typically and I just slip it in that day pack of mine. Item number seven is rope. You can use rope for a multitude of things. It's always good to have a little, little extra. This one, um, I have it attached to my fire starter kit. Um, I also have one that um, I can wear as a bracelet or just wrap around um, um, my day pack. Rope can be used for dragging things, for you know, putting a splint together, um, hanging a tarp over your head. It can be used for dragging things. Um, don't underestimate the power of a rope and some good knots. Item number eight multi-tool. So the multi-tools obviously can come in handy for a variety of things. If I had to boil it down to two items that I would take with me in terms of a tool, it would be a saw and a knife. Knife would be number one, saw would be number two, and this is just, you know, for a variety of things, to cut the rope, to cut for wood, um, so you can make a shelter, you can have some firewood, things like that. Um, it's all very handy. Um, obviously, if you can get a multi-tool that has more items on it, um, the, the, the better. I love a good knife, and then the saw. Thanks for watching. Please like our video, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this with friends. Really appreciate it. And stay tuned for another video coming out soon. And that's gonna be on the three bonus items um, for this emergency kit. Thanks.